Geometrical Interpretation of Cross Product In this module you will learn about Geometrical Interpretation of Cross Product. Let A, B, C, D be a parallelogram such that vector A and vector B represent its adjacent sides. If BE represents the height of the parallelogram, then its area is base into height, that is AD into BE. Now in the right triangle ABE, BE upon AB is equal to sine theta. So, BE is equal to AB sine theta. Since length of AB is equal to magnitude of vector B, BE is equal to magnitude of vector B into sine theta. Also, length of AD is equal to magnitude of vector A. Thus, the area of the parallelogram is magnitude of vector A into magnitude of vector B into sine theta. But this value of area is equal to magnitude of vector A cross vector B. This helps us to conclude that vector A cross vector B is a vector having magnitude equal to the area of the parallelogram ABCD. Since vectors A, B and A cross B form a right-handed system, so vector A cross vector B is perpendicular to the plane of the parallelogram. Also, half the area of the parallelogram ABCD gives the area of the triangle ABD as diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangles. Thus, the area of the triangle ABD is equal to half into magnitude of vector A cross vector B. This helps us to generalize that if vector A and vector B represent the adjacent sides of a triangle, then its area is half into magnitude of vector A cross vector B. In this module you have learned that if vector A and vector B represent the adjacent sides of a parallelogram, then its area is given by magnitude of vector A cross vector B. If vector A and vector B represent the adjacent sides of a triangle, then its area is given by half into magnitude of vector A cross vector B.